Hello everyone, welcome to episode 196 of the Tech Point Africa podcast. I'm a good mood today. You can sit on my face. I'm in a good mood today. Ah, yes, it's a few days. Small, it's a small. few days why that, why that felt like. You people should let me please enjoy my shine. No worries, no worries, Thank no worries. you. Go ahead. By what? the way, in the studio with me is... Your boy. Good. Yeah, contrary to Bulu, I'm not your boy, I'm your girl. So yes, welcome to the podcast. Please, watch this podcast. You don't, right. don't be... I don't know what's going on in the studio today, but... Peace. Yeah. yeah, before I go to what is getting me excited, I this is one of the days that he shows some few jabs at the crypto industry. Precisely Bulu. Not bu- bu- did I mention Bulu? I did. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. Whether I, I have didn't. a crypto I'm company. <laughs> Bolu is the crypto industry. <laughs> Anyways, um, crypto and Vibra. Then <laughs> <laughs> crypto and Vibra. No. <laughs> I said crypto app. Oh, God. They are serious today, actually. Yes, yeah, we are. Sorry. So, just just to mention, crypto app Vibra had um, shut down. He said in Nigeria. And he said it's only it's Nigeria um, that they are shutting down. That is shutting down. Yeah. Recently, the co-founder and uh, um, founding partner of Web3 Accelerator Adverse uh, made this known, and there are a lot of, you know, in between. But that's not what we are here to talk about. Um, we're just going to move directly to what we are here to speak about today. Andela. Andela have refused to leave our... Leave the news, leave leave our laptop screens and all, but it's it's for the good reason. So Adela launches Talent Is it good? Cloud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's let's. We, we'll we can decide. call it good now. We can no, call it good. So yeah. Mm. So please. Okay. Yes. So let me use Victoria's headline. Andela launches an AI-powered platform to transform the hiring process for tech companies. That are laying so. off. Sorry. Sorry, um, oh no, man, don't you do that, please. It's very important <laughs> that we leave that. Here. But yes, this is this is interesting because yes. while they are okay, so first of all, um, ever since I think it was December 2022, the moment I, I see AI powered, I'm like, what the hell? Here we go again. And buzzword. Yeah, exactly. Buzzword. So um, when I saw it, I was like, okay. it's one of those things. But by the way, LinkedIn have yeah. they've laid off. And like someone pointed out, the, the irony. irony. <laughs> this is good to get jobs. It's, it's, laying it's, people it's off. making people out of so jobs. Basically, how do you sleep at night knowing that the place where you go to get jobs is laying people off? It's life. It's the cycle anyway, of life. Moving on. Andela, Andela is launching an AI powered platform. Yeah, so basically, it's a. It's called Andela Cloud, by the way. Yes, Andela Cloud. It is Google Cloud, but yeah. Um, what the, the, the purpose is to help hiring managers. So basically, help. Um, companies to streamline the hiring process mm-hmm. and the idea is that um, it has certain parameters or you impute certain parameters and then you hire from there over 150,000 tech talents across the world mm-hmm. so you just impute your um, your parameters. parameters that you want by the skills you have years of experience the specific technology stack mm-hmm. that um, you want or maybe the specific technologies that you want them to um, have um. knowledge of and then it filters all your candidates and then voila you have people you can then move ahead with yes. so that's like a low down on it and it's ai powered so i'm both i'm kind of skeptical interested not skeptical like i want us to explore this further yes we now know what the purpose is but first question for me is um i don't know how many guys they had on their teams Whose jobs, um, whose job was um, specifically to Security, help so people yeah. hire? No, not even training. Yeah. Help people hire. Mm. Um, so you can hire teams with this. You can hire just individuals. Mm. So I don't know how many people whose jobs were directly connected to this role, hi- helping companies to um, filter oh. employees. Oh, so la- oh, no. yeah. So those people will be losing their jobs, jobs. right? Maybe. I. Um, it's is a possibility because. Mm. Um, we know how it is. If AI is replacing a job, of course, the people who have been doing it, some of them may be let go. Mm. Is that a is that a possibility? 
second thing for me, I don't know what people think about that. Uh, does anybody want to? So say I, I think it it is something that is not to be expected. But what came to my mind was um, there's this issue, there's still this issue of regulation around AI used in employment process because of AI bias. Yes, that was what I was going to. AI bias is a thing, and uh, and AI is only as um, capable as, as how much you've trained, trained it. it and how much data it has access to. Yeah. Mm. And if in a way, for instance, now if an AI over time has been looking out for, should I go the way of race or? Yeah. So let me go. I think we can go there yeah, because I, I saw go, something like that. Yeah, I want to go the way of um, skills, for instance. Mm -hmm. Say, over time, it's just been tech skills, tech skills. If you get to a point, maybe you're looking for just sent tech skills. I don't know how these AI things work. I just feel like over time, it gets trained to have like a, 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 to gravitate towards something that is very used to, if you get what I'm trying to say. So, yeah. for instance, now if there is a particular rule, that you can always come in through tech skills and a through a combination of tech skills and, for instance, ad adjacent tech skills, right? If an AI has been, like, have bias towards tech skills, it might actually suggest more people with tech capability than those in the adjacent roles, if you're trying to say. So AI bias is a thing. I'm not against any development that comes up, comes up now because, to a large extent, Africa is usually like very many years behind when it comes to these things and it's, it's being used in other places. What they are actually considering in other things is how to regulate it and make it ethical, right? Mm -hmm. But we are still trying to adopt it. We are still in the stage of adoption. So I'm not going to be against it. But I just want us to get it right, right? Mm -hmm. In a way that we don't put the people we are trying to help as it, at a disadvantage, Right. Mm -hmm. okay. You said you saw something like the race part. It's also very, very valid. You get because well, this this um when you submit your bio, your pictures are there and oh, if an AI is maybe compromised or is not properly trained, yeah. it can actually form a bias concerning people of color against people of color. So mm -hmm. we should try or to look into that. People are, that are not of color because most companies are looking to exactly diverse, it can be the diversify. other way too. It can <laughs> be the other way too. So yeah. we should just get it right. I I feel it's it's a good thing, right? But I, I hope we get it right. And about people that are going to lose their job, I think maybe we should move beyond that conversation of automation taking people's job, of AI taking people's job. Should we yes. move beyond that conversation? Because it, there's, there's, there's only so much control you can have around it. It's just for you as a person that as, as much as AI gets smarter mm -hmm. with use, you as a human being too, you can get smarter by learning or learning how to use that AI for your own good. So it still, it still boils down on human beings. If you know you want to still remain relevant, find a way to get better at using that AI for young people because there are tools. As a matter of fact, there's no it can mm. replace it, entirely replace them. There are tools, and the same way we learn to use every other tool, starting from Microsoft to WordPress, is the same way we will learn to, to enhance AI. AI. So those are the conversations we will be having at the Modern Workplace Africa Conference. But I'm not an expert, but I just feel like. You get it. Mm. Sure. Get it. Okay. So, on the bias thing, mm. so when I said, like, after I moved beyond this AI and I was mm -hmm. looking at some, I was like just thinking through some possible implications. Mm -hmm. Something I was thinking of is, um, um, Andela is like, okay, it started out with the focus on Africa. And we have these, um, so we've seen them like cut down on junior developers we've and seen them try and focus on senior rating, guys rating. now what does that mean for example um so to be clear we've been using technology in employment processes maybe not mm -hmm. a lot of african um, companies but yes globally it has been it has been happening so for example ats is tech if you if your resume is not ats flagged sorry um ats optimized Mm. It could flag your um, it could flag your resume and you don't even get in the door exactly. in the first place. Yes. But now talking about um, AI in in recruitment, so people have tried video. So basically, during video interviews, mm -hmm. AI analyzes 
um, facial expressions, mm -hmm. some of your gestures, some of your body language. Mm. And there's, there are studies that show that sometimes AI interprets the body language or facial expressions of black people in a more... Um, I'm trying to think of the right word to use, but like Father, it's, I'm, I'm, it's I'm not happy. accurate. I'm happy, like you yeah. can't just see it on my face. Accurate, <laughs> but in basically inaccurately, it has it has tended to be more strict with the way it interpreted um, facial expressions from mm -hmm. black people. Mm -hmm. Now, for Andela, um, you're hiring from I I'm, I don't know what the talent pool looks like right now since mm -hmm. they have roots in um, Latin American, but I'm going to assume at least 30 percent are Africans. Um, or colored. Yeah, or colored. Actually, 80% should be colored. colored since they have roots in Latin America. But something they're talking about is you can filter by time zone. Okay. You can also filter by language. Mm. Now, if you filter by time zone, I'm just wondering how many African countries have time zones that are in sync with the large European companies that they would typically get jobs at or they would want to get jobs at. Mm. Right now, um, if it's if I am in Nigeria and I'm working for a U.S. company, it basically means I have to be work, nice working in reverse. Day, so I'm basically yeah. working at night and sleeping and in the day. day. So I think that's an issue, though. It is an issue. If I'm going to be filtering so that means time it's zone, not, it's not people from that country. No, no, no. no. You're, you're, not, you're not hiring you're, from you're, Africa. You're, across, you're, oh, okay. you're a U.S. You're hiring company. hiring across borders. Yeah. You're hiring your you're U.S. company and then let's say in your, in your filter you say um, we want people who are um, who can work with this time zone, right? I'm going to assume that it is not going to take my word for it. It's going to automatically say, okay, Nigeria that's is not like, in this time zone. That's like a it's not compatible. Industry. You're so using automatically, AI. You're not using humans. Humans yeah. can still use Make discretion. Some decisions. Yeah. So now, if you do that, um, automatically, you may disqualify Nigerians without them even getting mm. their foot in the door. There are a lot of other um, criteria. Maybe tech stack is is standard. Like, of course, you should filter by that. Mm. Um, but I'm just wondering how much does it affect the average Andela developer or the av average African developer who wants to get jobs through the Andela job pool? I'm just uh, so looking I think, at yeah, it's, it's that. because of situations like this that we give feedback like this as media. Because, yes, when, when, when something is new to you, you tend to question it, right? And we're not questioning it because we are opposing it. We just want to be clear about how you can actually address some of these um I don't want to say loopholes, but possible side effects. So looking at that and some of the things we've mentioned there just brings to me like, uh, for instance, now you want to hire a team across from diverse places, like a dispersed team scattered mm -hmm. across the globe. And you probably don't know how to go about it or you, you probably are skeptical about how you effectively manage them. And this is one of the conversations we'll be having at the Modern Workplace African Conference. Dr. Silk Ogbu from the Lagos Business School, an associate professor of communication and management. And we'll be taking executives on this one hour master class where we dissect. God, you've not sat under Dr. Sig before, so you might not understand what I'm saying. But you should sit under his teaching. Because that guy, uh, that man. Does that man, sound like what do you say in that, church? No, have you, no, have like, you sat under this? Under under the, teaching, yes, under the teaching you take it like that. Like, if you sit under his teaching, you are immense. Like, I've, I've always thought, like, future of work was remote work all my life. But I only spent... 15 minutes with Dr. Ogbu, and he, he just gave me like a different idea of remote work uh, in the context of future of work. I thought it was overflowed, but no, it isn't. So, if you should, you should get a ticket, if you're a people Sorry, leader, how do, how do I get if you're a, a CEO, ticket? I'm coming. Guy, don't interrupt me. If you're a CEO, if you're a people leader, if you're a person that are looking, if you're into consulting, if you're a person that is looking to to manage, start managing people at some point, you should be under that that master class. And that That's is just amazing. only one of the many master classes that would be happy, happening at the Modern Workplace Africa Conference. I discovered that some people don't even know that there are three different stages at the Modern Workplace Africa Conference. I'm going to quickly dissect that. Mm. You know, I mentioned that the Modern Workers of Africa Conference is, is for every stakeholder in the work industry. From the students that is still in school looking to enter the job market to the decision maker in the, in, in the company and everything in between. 
right? So we have different stages catering to different people's needs, like catering to employees, like newly uh, new hires, catering to freelancers and gig workers, catering to job seekers, catering to students. Then we now have another stage catering to HR professionals, people operation managers, HR business partners, and team leads. Then there's a now another stage catering to C suite executives, decision makers, business leaders, CEO and founders so now imagine that kind of segmentation and tailoring each content in each stage to the people there so I, I was i was just looking at it like why would you as a team lead be under a teaching no a um, say a panel i'll say a panel that's talking about how to upskill it, 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 it might make sense to you to an extent, but I just feel like it would be better for you to be under a class that will be talking about um, trends in the African workforce, current trends there, or a stage talking about how to use data and analytics in the process of hiring. You get my point now. So um, we have designed it in a way that everybody is going to learn, but they have to be where they're supposed to be. So I'll need you to go to the Modern Workplace Africa Conference dot com. There are three stages there, and you should get tickets that suit your career role. And this is not just about the content. You get to be among the people that are in the same career level as you, that you can connect with. We call them quality networks that you can connect with and you can like have long-term relationship with. So this is my final call. I'm not going to do this again. Just how you see me on this podcast, we are done. But like, I don't want you to don't like, come after this is <laughs> like, anything you see, so, just it. <laughs> don't take it right. But yeah, I, I, I really don't want anyone to miss this conference for anything. Not because I'm the event owner, because I am. But I don't want anybody to miss it because there are a lot of packages in there. And I hope to see you there. If you see me, just call Uluwani Femi Kolawale. Please, I like his food. And I will say, I thank you very much. See you at the Modern Workplace Africa Conference landmark on Saturday. It's going to be lit. Like Instagram, people should be giving. Mm. So, yeah. I still can get over the fact that, that you use sitting on that teaching. I mean, it sounds like what I was here in church. You don't go to church, so you may not really lit. Um, <sighs> like, Patricia. Excuse me, as per, I don't understand. I don't know. I God be jailed. Wh- hooligan. <laughs> and then oh. hooligan. Oh, well, please. No, 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 no. Please, Patricia is in the news ah. again. This time, what I feel is... You say that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no don't, worry. don't worry. Let's go ahead. <laughs> what are you people saying? I if don't you don't know. get it, forget about it. <laughs> oh. You mm. want, okay. Let's no, don't move. worry. Go let's ahead. Move. Okay, we should move. <laughs> yeah. Why are you laughing, God? They will think I don't see us on today's podcast too, but are me, I'm serious. serious. No, no, I've, I've I'm, actually been I'm a serious, serious person. Just, you guys are bad so, influences. Uh, You're just sober. Behave like someone that what did, what did, did this morning. Production, what did you put in the studio today? Someone said the air over Nigeria is cooking. No. It's cooking. <laughs> it's what? The air over Nigeria is cooking. Maybe as we are coming to work today, we sniff something in that car. <laughs> Okay, so please, Patricia is in the news again. Oh, yes. Still not for the good reasons. But this time, it elicited <laughs> a different kind of emotion that I felt for them. So just give us the rundown. I'll tell you Before what I feel. Before I give you that rundown, what, <laughs> what do you... <laughs> what no, do you no, no. Say the rundown. Right, okay. I'll tell okay. you okay. what I feel. Um, yes, Patricia is in the news again. Um, Once again. I mean, if you've so not heard... If you've not heard about what's going on, I probably been living under a rock, but Patricia has consistently been in the news for Heroes. the wrong reasons. Uh, first, it was the hack. Then next, it was the launch of a token that was going to serve as um, payment, Placeholder. you know, or good, that's a good way to put it, a placeholder for um, customers that they are owing money. Mm-hmm. And then the latest news now is that they want, they've reached out to some customers and asked them to turn, telling those customers to turn um, uh, whatever it is that they are owing them to shares within the company. Mm-hmm. So basically, let's assume Patricia is owing me 50 million naira. Mm-hmm. Patricia is now calling me and telling me, ah, half a guy, investor. would you like to, you know, own, convert, um, 
shares of Patricia. We'll just convert that 50 million that we are owing you mm-hmm. and they will turn into shares. How do you feel about that? Well, I mean, obviously, I don't feel good. it doesn't sound doesn't sound very good because, I mean, first of all, you are owing a lot of money, mm-hmm. right? You are in hot water, mm-hmm. right? Why would I even want to buy shares in a company I don't know that is in hot water, right? And, you know, it was, you know, I was listening to the recording where Patricia called one of their customers. I think they are owing that person. Patricia customer care. Uh, yeah, it was the Patricia customer care number. Okay. You know, I called the person and I was listening to the conversation and the, it was not even sounding like, you know, there wasn't really, it was Thank sounding, it was sounding like really desperate. Yeah, the copy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think we should, yeah, we should listen, listen to, to it. it. Maybe to change the, mm-hmm, what I mm-hmm. feel. When you convert my money to shares right now, I won't be saying is that it's available again. It will be seen. It will be seen, but you will get a document. If you are with it, I'm going to send you an email with a document. So you can read through it properly. All we need is your consent. And like I said, this is honestly the best we can do at the time. This is most likely our last resort and the best we can do. We just need your cooperation because you want to see that this is rectified. You know, this is a very scary thing to do. It's a very scary thing. Yes, to I do. understand it, so, but we've been here. I want to, I want you to know that we've been here with you even in this tough time. We have not, we, you still see our updates, see our calls and messages. That's to prove that we are still here. We don't, we don't have any intentions of running away. We don't have first time. That, that's just to prove we've been here for a long time and we are still here even at, at a difficult time like this. So sure. you can be best assured that your phone will be gotten. We just need you to do this one, this one favor. It will help you and it will help us. That way you can get your money faster. And like I said, it is our last resort as it stands now. Not giving your consent is only going to make issues worse. I'm being very honest with you right now. Yeah. So you can hear from that recording that it's it's basically like, see, if you don't buy, you lose your money. Now you know, we've told you what you need to do to get your money, right? But if you don't do it, we really don't know what will happen, which is, I mean, really, 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 really weird. Nice. Um, we reached out to the, uh, to someone at Patricia. We re- we reached out to Patricia. They said they will provide uh, more information and really explain <laughs> what exactly is going on. Uh, I've not heard back from them since. That was in Dumbledore. Tuesday. Yes. Okay. That was since Tuesday, 9 a.m. And I've not heard from them um, since then. But it's really... It's really it's sad. Becoming, it's becoming. really yeah, really. And then I think it was yesterday. A video came out uh, where you know some of the customers they went to the Patricia office and they didn't see anybody. And they're like, "What's going on? Mm-hmm. Have they taken our money?" And, and so I, I and I actually remember going to Patricia office. I you remember that one, which, which that very flamboyant there? office they had I in Lekki. Yes, yes. yes. So I went there. I was like, okay, you know when all these things started happening, like. What exactly is going on? So I went there and the security was like, oh, they've not been coming to the office for some months now. I was like, oh, wow. Well, why exactly? said they've been working from home. Mm-hmm. I was like, ah, this is strange. Mm-hmm. And then I reached out to some employees, right? And m- many of them have been saying, oh, I don't work at Patricia anymore. I mean, nine out of ten employees that I reached out to said they some don't work. Some of the employees are even C-level. This, yeah, and then if you look at uh, I think that was last year or some even earlier, like the old C level team left the company. So it's very worrisome, right? Very worrisome. And I mean, I. So, okay. So the feelings that I felt, mm. mm-hmm. I was feeling like, okay, we understand that they are in this situation mm. and they are not ready to just throw in the trial. Mm. Like, okay, let's try everything to survive or to make it work. That's the feeling I'm getting, okay? That's the feeling you're getting? Yeah. Really? You got me, yeah? Really? Yeah, tell me what you feel. The feeling I'm getting is that Nigerian, a lot of Nigerian founders see them, see jail, or see them, see EFCC case. That is the feeling <laughs> that I'm getting. I'm getting. Because you have not the lawyers really, in the room, really they will correct me. Explain what's But is it not borderline illegal that you are owing me mm. your financial services, um, provider or yeah. institution you are owing me 
and you're calling me. I don't care whether you're threatening me or you're making a suggestion. Mm -hmm. You're telling me that I should convert my Added old money, money to equity. Think about it like this. You lend me money. Like, mm -hmm. you're, not, you're, not, you're not a, a bank or anything. Mm -hmm. Lend me money. And then, three months later, I've not paid back. And then I come to you and I'm like, hi, Nifemi. I know I'm owing you. Mm -mm, I don't even say I know I'm owing you. Hi, Nifemi. I'm owing you 50K. Mm -hmm. But right now, um, I want you to convert the 50K you owe me into equity. Um, mm -hmm. When put I it get inside my wedding, yes, just, or put it inside my wedding. wedding. I could the hell cares about your wedding. I don't care about your wedding. Can you just give me my money <laughs> and stop being a if stop yeah. like? See, yeah, so this is the second time. It's, it's not communication. Is, it's not. It is, this one is not communication issue. That's past communication. It is, it is more than communication. It's I've been telling Bobo about. It is irresponsible. It is criminal. It is everything wrong in the book. Mm. You don't. You don't get to do that with customer deposits. Mm -hmm. Imagine your money gets missing. Any bank, just think of any bank. bank. And then the bank comes tomorrow and they tell you, convert the money to shares. Like mm -hmm. Bolu pointed out, you are basically under the water. Like yeah. you're struggling to stay so alive. It, it, Why should I put my money in a sinking ship? I don't think it's valuable to start with. I mean, this is, I mean, people, I, I mm. get people investing in Ponzi, but nobody sees Ponzi, like that last week of Ponzi schemes dying. Yeah. Nobody ever puts, no, no sensible person actually yeah. puts their money in the last week, knowing yes, where it's about to crash because they know. Yes. Now imagine all the customers you've been talking yeah. about. You know, first time I said um, they should probably learn communication yes. and stop doing this. But you have, they've been saying problem. they will do, um, Kenny, they will do town hall. Mm -hmm. You will schedule town hall for 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. You will send email to people, one fifty-seven p.m. And that's, that's the first time you're communicating that should come for your town hall. The next one you do, 2 p.m., you will send town hall, um, send, email. you send email, 2.50. When town hall has started, I don't know what you're trying to do, uh, hmm? but it's telling me that yes. you're a fraudster. People actually, actually went for, for that for town instance, hall. For, okay, and they said they were not allowed to really how did they the Bolu, like, Bolu now if mm. if you'd want to advise what should happen now like if you want to give an advice <laughs> to the customers or to the owners of patricia what would you say please don't ask me the advice i'll give to so so i mean let me start with owners of patricia i think one thing that they can't i think one thing one place they got it wrong was um i don't know as a financial services company bob because they are in the crypto space, right? Mm -hmm. I guess they didn't have everything in order, right? So normal finance company, there's NDIC, Insurance, there's yeah. enough regulations for you. If something happens, you see, you probably declare percentage, bankruptcy. Percentage of the customer's yes, money. Yes, whatever insured. you have, I don't know. Maybe yes. whatever you have left, you probably it still is. give customers. Mm -hmm. But in their case now, there's nothing like that. If they've lost those monies, I don't know what the customers can do. You can do nine to five and look for people's money now. <laughs> so you do nine to five, it's also important to note that years. I I <laughs> just want you like what's the way out here? You will work harder than Jacob work for Leah for you. To Someone actually said money. they've raised money, right? Oh, like someone they saw told me that they've raised like 95 percent of what they need to pay people what they're, they're actually well, trying I, to i saw a well, deck something that looks like a deck <laughs> you show me that it's in a lie <laughs> and they want to raise five million dollars two million dollars is to pay back customers uh -huh. but even the customers are even saying that it's not two million two million dollars is owing them mm -hmm. that they are owing them up to ten how do the yeah. customers know how much I, is food? I don't know. They said based on their own calculations. internal calculations. Yeah. Do you know? Well, right. I don't know sure about so if they know maybe how many they have people. like a group of patricia victims. I mean, mm, possibly. Like, if you are yeah. running what, a what company, what do they call the support group? Yeah. <laughs> I. If you are running a crypto I, company, I, I just <laughs> have you got this? I've been scammed to the tune of seven million dollars by patricia <laughs> You know, you know, the IG must be welcome. Wait, do you know? I just, I, I just have an idea now. What maybe. Imagine you're seeing a Patricia video and Patricia staff are coming out. I'm not the one that's telling you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, no one is saying on in this video. I'm today. not the blind. <laughs> I am not the scammer. <laughs> I am not the scammer's employee. Seriously, today, I'm not 
this podcast is out of my hand. <laughs> it's totally out of my hand. Please, let's move on. Oh, my God. oh these, oh. Are, these are behind the screen things. That oh, was, guys, no, guys. That was, that was good. <laughs> and then the actual owner comes. I am <laughs> I hope we put a million dollars. Sorry, <laughs> Sorry can we can we add this okay, in my jokes, jokes um, the, the the opinions <laughs> expressed on this podcast are not the opinions, opinions of, of their points, their personal media. opinions, please. It is personal our, opinions. It is, it is our personal opinions. Please. Yeah. Opinion. please. <laughs> but <laughs> thank you very much. Please yeah, don't come when you are. are begging. They no. are their opinions. <laughs> No legal, no legal. Yeah, so still talking. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not a funny, funny issue. Yeah, it's not, it's not very. It's not very. People put money. No, depending on where you look at it, money we are talking yeah, about yeah, here. Yeah. So <laughs> we are hoping that. So what I'm, I'm just thinking blight. in my hand is, <laughs> <laughs> what I have in my mind is like just find the way out. <laughs> are you just going to say we have shut down and let people find consolation in that mm-hmm. or closure mm. or keep doing this? Closure. No, yeah, I, know, I know it's people's money and, anyway, and you, you all. Said you said you, I said you now explain my, my advice. Right, but if I give okay. my advice, ah. let, let, let's, let, let, it's still in the light of financial institutions. Mm. <coughs> There's an update from Shattered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. And it seems like it's very new to me. The word, when I saw CIBN, I thought, okay, CIBN, rather, I was thinking, ah, did these people misspell CBN? But interestingly, the Shattered Institute of Bankers of Nigeria. What's the update from them? Jim goes dream, yeah? I'm not yep. obliged. <laughs> <laughs> what is wrong with you? Come on, come on. <laughs> Man, when we watch this video, I'll be like, God, what happened while I was away? Sorry, normally we are serious people. Mm-hmm. But, um, <laughs> I don't know what, what you are saying. <laughs> this is on camera. Anyway, as we are, uh, sorry, as we are not as we are saying, CIBN has commenced an interesting move. So they want to certify POS agents or basically everybody in the um, agency banking space. Um, space. So <clears throat> this is a, a certification program, and I'm currently on the website. You, the website is myabc.ng, okay. and agency ban- bank agency banking certification. That's like, and yeah. they said cool, the yeah. idea is to um, improve professionalism, improve conduct mm. by the agents. How much? Okay. Yes. Let's get to how much. First of all. Um, if you want to register, and let's say you're an agent and you want to register, mm-hmm. or you want to become an agent or you want to play in that space, um, registration is ongoing until 10th of November. Um, after that, you start studying. Did you mention the website? Already? Yeah, myabc.ng. Okay, ABC. Which is my very interesting. ABC. I don't, my ABC, when I saw that thing, I'd be one laugh because we have an ABC transport somewhere. <laughs> so there's a, okay, I think the study will start from 1st of December to March 25th, 2024. And then you take exams in April 2024. So it's a very serious something. It's not like you are here to play. Yeah. <coughs> You'll be taking exams. Take it seriously. Um, so, yes, now it gets interesting. Um, okay, so let's talk about cost. It's basically 33K. But there's a group. Annual. Everything. Okay, group lifetime. registration. No, I, I don't even know whether it's lifetime show or anything. But there's group registration fee for 5K. There's CIBN registration fee for another 5K. Then there's now program and examination fee for 23K. Um, so I thought that I could sign up, but apparently I need a CAC. group registration code for me to sign up. Oh, okay. so what do you mean by group <clears throat> registration? So they said groups can be like associations of agents, a, um, agency bankers. Shomodo so branch. exactly, oh, Vega okay. branch, Lecky branch. So you guys need like a code, and then you impute it in order to con- um, continue. Yeah, so there are three, from what I can see, here, three pathways. There's foundation level. There's intermediate level. <clears throat> then they call this one um, certified level. Each of them are about... Okay, so the foundation level is one week, um, which is funny. One week of doing... Training about how yeah. to be professional and using POS. You know, yeah, so uh, not, it's not even to use POS. Okay, so... Like to be a POS <laughs> agent, rather. Yes, yeah, so I think what they're they are saying they want professionalism. And one of the things they mentioned is that um, a lot of the accounts opened are being opened by fraudsters. Not mm-hmm. that no fraudsters are now entering into bank to yeah, open yeah. bank accounts. Same way they're in crypto. Exactly. <clears throat> um, yes, she said what she said. Uh, but yes, they are opening, or fraudsters are opening accounts there. And then they want to like also improve customer service. Now that one off me pass because 
It's inconsistent where we overload. Customers have you. If you like, don't use their POS. You will walk to the yes. nearest bank. Seriously, to the collect. people that our podcast is missing, they are street. No, it's true. I mean, think about Why it. Like, what concerns POS the agents? woman beside my house with customer service? But customer service is useful in everywhere. Of course. I'm not saying it's not useful. I'm just saying you want to train her in customer so, service. So, when so she... you know, okay, one thing. Okay, so that's just one part. Too. It's okay. not like that's everything. Yeah. Okay. So they are said classification to one of the benefits is they want to improve professionalism, capacity building, professional identity against harassment. Now, this is the one that is very interesting. They mentioned something about um, security, like basically interfacing with security agents. Mm-hmm. So maybe security agents are harassing POS agents. I don't know. Oh, no, no, not that. Um, no, they move a- about a lot of cash. Mm. And some of them get... Um, robbed. Yeah, robbed. How does the certification help them? So, for instance, <laughs> now if there is a group... That's like there's a group, there's an associate as, association. Mm. They could use this certification if there's an affili- affiliation between CIBN yeah. and uh, a security outfit. They can just give them one to like look after their operations in that area. I'm just thinking. So, but um, <laughs> no, my concern. We don't have enough policemen in the first place. I said security. Um, what's it called? Outfit. I'm <laughs> No, there's no Amoteku now. I don't want to Maybe. mention names because <coughs> do you do you do you want to pay for advertisement for the name no. you just mentioned? No, but I mean, but but like <laughs> let's think about it. Um, <laughs> if you actually want to do that to security, mm. which like which security company do you want to be? It's, Are you going to not, pay for that? It's not that? for us to think. No, no association. Some things comes with bulk um, subscription. For instance, you get you get. But I'm not trying to, I'm not in CIBN, but I just feel like for them to bring, say these things, for, mm. for one, they are not government agencies. Yeah, yeah, they are CIBN. Independent bodies, I okay, believe. Yeah. Uh-huh. So <laughs> for them to be coming up to this thing, ulterior motives are quite on the low side compared to a government agency. So uh, to, a, to a large extent, I'm trusting that for them to come up with these things, they've like sample the opinion of people in the association, they've considered their pain points and then decided that this is what would be useful for these people, right? So the only thing now I would think is that um, it's just for public acceptance. The same way you would... Public acceptance? Uh, yes. Of the, same, the agents? No, no, no. Who? Of, of the certification that CIBN gives. You get the same way you will see an HR professional and if you don't see what is this thing in there, am I? Can you, I'm so sorry. I should okay, know that. I mean, all. Nigerians yeah. like certifications. They will do it. They will do what? Certifications. Like certifications. Are you sure? No, no, no. I'm yeah. talking about public acceptance. I'm not talking about people getting it. It's about public acceptance. For instance, now, before you use the POS agents, for instance, say this mm. thing gets mainstream, will you ask them for their certification or you will look at their shops if mm. it's plastered on the wall? Would, would, you mat- would it matter to you? So that is kind of acceptance. F- I'm first of all, about. first of all, the the vast majority of agent agents um, banking or the agents, the vast majority of them are like um, mobile. Not not even mobile. They like don't have a shop, a structure. They, they not not even structure. Like I'm looking at their educational experience. Um, o- of course, if you are, are educated or like have some educational qualifications, mm-hmm. but do you think that a guy who owns a barber shop, for example, or a woman who who sells tomatoes and uses that? Mm. Well, uh, it, okay, but you, do you think any of these people are going to yeah. go or care about a certification? Yes, yeah, so I think like that is where the example. Even a hair sal- even in Lagos, they mm-hmm. have hair salon. I mean, they associations, have hairstylist associations. Okay, they give them certificates. Yes, no, 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 you, no, 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 you the customer. Wait, wait, wait sorry, no, no, no. certificate. If you, you, belong, if you want to belong in these associations, yes. So certificate, certification. There are two different things. You're training me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You're not just handing me a certificate. Maybe after I've paid five k, mm-hmm. you're training yeah. me. Yeah. Are they going to like? Are they going to do all of this? Yes. Yeah. They, so I think you know. I think so. Let me. Um, I'm. We are going too far. Let's use one of these Ponzi or one of these whatever. You know what I'm talking about. I don't want to mention their names. All these guys, and they have trainings every week, a number of days. Mm-hmm. People, if you go to their trainings, you see a lot of people. And most of the people, all these people are the kind of people you are mentioning. Mm-hmm. 
Sorry, so, they are talking about an entirely different thing. I it's, think they will. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just same, trying to no. draw parallels. Like, so I think no, you're I drawing get that. parallels with the different demographics. So you are telling me I need a certification to mm-hmm. do X. So for example, look, um, they are saying I'll just read a few of the things that um, the agents, uh, sorry, the CIBN guys are saying. So I, I like like I've mentioned, I think some of it, like there's probably a need for this. So they said they do sharp practices, unethical practices, not doing due diligence due to poor training and lack of professionalism. Mm-hmm. I don't know that it is the job of an agent um, an agent to like do KYC or do due diligence before conducting mm-hmm. or um, approving. Service. Yeah, before, uh, yeah, before going through the service. Yeah, I don't know see, that, okay, that, this that, I don't like want this us one. to take it like too far, right? These things are just because it doesn't happen does not mean that is the norm. No, I'm right? no. You should, you should have a level of knowledge you get. Yes. Okay, wait, um, uh, running, being a, P, being a POS agent is more like you are running a mini financial institution. You okay, get. Okay. So there are some knowledge you should have. It should not just be because I want to make ends meet. The next thing I want to try is POS. You get, which is what we have now. But if there is something that is going to lecture them, like make them have some basic knowledge, it will inform the way they act. I'm not saying that you have to scrutinize every of your customers. There are things that you will see that look like triggers to you. The same way banks, maybe you you, you have like a current account, a savings account in a bank, and the the highest number, the highest amount you've received every month, so so amount then. Two 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 thousand dollars entered your account in a month. They will be curious. It's a trigger. So for for instance, if if a POS agent has like not like similar understanding like that, they will be able to know triggers of when a person is a fraud or something like that. It's not as if you are scrutinizing them. You are doing your business. You are actually scrutinizing them. No, you are not. You are. If it is if. If you're not scrutinizing okay, them, okay, you let's might admit as well just... that. Let's admit that you're scrutinizing them. You are running a financial institution as it's where. As it's where, yes. You're offering financial services. You are offering financial services as long as it has to do with money. Yeah, but you're not an institution now. Nomenclature. <laughs> but you get the point. Please let's let's keep this conversation <laughs> going in the comment section. Please, you can reach out to us on Twitter, um, Tech Point Af- at Tech Point Africa, whatever. X.com. Why? Do, it's not X.com. It's still Twitter.com. Do you know that? It's still X.com. Abby is X.com. Let's try it. Let me do No, it's Twitter.com. My tab is X.com open. X.com and see if it will not work. Okay. It's Twitter.com. It's Twitter.com. Aye. The you can't follow through on it's your decisions. It's Twitter.com slash home that I'm looking at here. Really? Yes. yes now. It's still Twitter.com. Can you imagine? Even, even when you copy the links, it's still Twitter.com that shows. Yes. So he was playing. So yeah, you can, you can reach out to us on Twitter. Ah. X now X, but you don't correct me. It's Twitter. It's not it's that fine, tell me how to call. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you can reach out to us on Instagram. You can also drop your comments on um, YouTube. If you see our clips on TikTok, you can drop your comments and YouTube shorts. Um, Bolu for audio lovers, where can they find us? And yes, also yes, they can find us on Google Podcast, Apple Podcast, and Spotify. Um, yeah, those are basically the other pla- other platforms. Yeah, so on those what podcast platform, don't forget to drop your ratings for us. Um, if you love what we do, if you want to let more people to to get um to get introduced to the Tech Point Africa podcast and what you are enjoying on this podcast. Please rate our podcast on any of these platforms. Uh, Modern Workplace Africa conference is this Saturday. Hope to see you there. If you see me, Shim Gozrin, Bolu, Onome, Please, if I call out your business, you shall not know my face. Don't punch me. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. I just... Please. Uh, so please, nice idea. please, all at us. We are nice people. Um, I My um, under pressure, but we are very nice people. Um, or nice should people. I just speak for myself? Yes, so please. It, see you at Landmark Event Center <laughs> on Saturday. Thank you very much for joining us today. Bye, guys. Yes, bye. 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 See you on Friday. Sorry, Saturday. Saturday, bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>